Greek national Dimitri Belbas displayed remarkable bravery and survival skills during the April 3rd earthquake. After guiding 11 people to safety with his wife, Dimitri emerged as a hero. We need to start by saying that we were extremely lucky, and not all of us were lucky during that day. It was a very scary feeling such a strong earthquake inside the tunnel. But we had no choice, we had no option of going outside because there was a lot of rocks falling and landslides. Were we scared? Yes, of course. Of course, it was very scary. A month later, he reflected on the experience, saying it was horrifying. However, he stayed calm and lent a helping hand to those in need. During that moment of the earthquake, we were only able to communicate through the phone out with the people who were outside the gorge. Okay, we did not know where other people were. I found three ladies who were in an uncovered area and I asked them to come with us. And then sometime later I found the family of five who were hiding in the tunnel. So I brought them with us. And we made sure that everybody knew exactly who everybody was. Dr. Greek hero in the news, Dimitri modestly said the focus shouldn't be solely on him. He acknowledged the efforts of the Taiwanese government, rescue teams, and the hospitality of ordinary people during the difficult time. I was impressed by the Taiwanese response to the earthquake, both the official one and also of the simple people. On the very first day of the earthquake, the hotel that we were staying opened up the doors. People that didn't have a place to stay were welcome to stay at the hotel. Free food was served. Three rooms were given, everybody was taking care of each other. From the following day, the official Taiwanese government started sending helicopters. The rescue and search team arrived, they brought supplies, they brought equipment, they tried to go into the mountain to find missing people. Everybody was very calm, very organized. Dimitri attributed his survival skills to his scouting experience and shared the most important things to consider during emergencies. Because of the many years I was in the scout, I was trained actually to be the one who will go and help people. Well, during the actual moment of emergency, the most important thing is to protect yourself, take cover, and stay safe. Earthquakes do not last for long, so after the first seconds, minutes, you can start looking about who is close to you, if they're safe, and then bring everybody together. The second thing is to make sure that you can inform people of where you are, so they know that you're okay and they know your location, so they can come and save you. Then it's all about trying to find if you have enough water, enough food, help everybody retain their spirits high, don't get discouraged, don't get disappointed. To honor his courage, the Wei Chen Dragons invited him to throw the ceremonial first pitch during a game on May 17th, and the General Association of the Scouts of China presented him with the International Friendship Award. Joining the Scouts at age 12, Dimitri shared his insights into the significance of scouting education. Scouts is a game in the nature. When children join the Scouts, either in the age of primary school, middle school, high school, what they do is they go to nature, they are asked to find materials, to play games, to make constructions, to spend a night or a week outside in the forest. During the earthquake, a whole life of playing the scouts game became a moment of survival. I didn't have to think about it, I knew what we had to do. So the scouts training is actually the scout the way of living life take care of others, make sure everybody's safe. The people Dimitri and his wife helped were deeply moved and grateful. Some even attended the special occasion to cheer Dimitri on. They are here today, I'm very honored, they're here today to watch the game. Okay, I think we will be friends for life. And uh, this will be something that, you know, we will keep uh, for as long as we can. Dimitri's scouting background in Greece instilled hope amid the earthquake's devastation in Taiwan. Decades later, the spirit of scouting and international friendship shone brightly in those dark times and will remain a cherished memory in Taiwan. This is Hong Chi Ho for TVBS World Taiwan.